Hey there, it's Aaron. And in this video, I'm going to show you that you do not need to use a third-party AI-based upscaling platform in order to dramatically increase the resolution and clarity of your images. There is, in fact, AI built into Photoshop that you probably are not aware of. I'm going to teach you how to use it. It's a lot of fun and very satisfying. So before we get started, make sure that you like this video and then subscribe to my channel because that's going to encourage me to make more videos just for you. And with that, let's get started. It's so easy. The first thing we want to do is go to edit all the way down to preferences and then to technology previews. And on this screen, we want to make sure that we have enable preserve details 2.0 upscale checked. And the description of it is enlarge your images with the help of artificial intelligence assisted upscaling technologies. So there you go. We have AI built into Photoshop. The way it works is extremely easy. First of all, let's zoom in here on our image. I've opened up a color image and I have a black and white one to show you as well. So here we can see we don't have to go very far before we see some pretty heavy pixelation happening and a loss of clarity. So from a distance, the image doesn't look that bad, but once we zoom in, we see that this is what you would call screen resolution. The image is 512 by 768 at a resolution of only 72 dpi. So we're going to increase this so dramatically. We're going to go to image and the image size screen that you're probably already familiar with. Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to change the resolution to 300. And then I'm also going to change the width well, I'm going to change my shortest side to 3000 pixels is my habit. So in this case, it was my width. And we'll see here that I have the resampling mode set to preserve details 2.0. That's what we need. That's what we just enabled. And now we can go through here and see, let's zoom in, have a nice close look at the iris here. This is the iris we were just looking at over here. So here's before and here is after. Before and after. So let's accept this. And now let's zoom in and see what we can see. So here is the iris we had looked at before and we can see now that we can zoom in quite far, still not seeing any pixelation happening. So again, from a distance, it doesn't look like the image has changed here in screen resolution, but if we wanted to print this image now, we could at a very high quality as well. So that is truly incredible. And we've done it without having to resort to using a third party application that tend to really take away from the identity and overall clarity of the image. They tend to add some vectorizing, some flattening of things, sometimes too many highlights appear, and you definitely can lose a lot of detail, especially in skin. So you can see here that none of that happened. We just have incredible clarity. We can see fine lines, fine hairs and pores. Incredible. So let's try this now with this stunning black and white image. So we'll zoom in here. It's the same deal. It's 512 by 768 at 72 dpi. And we can see our pixelation happening here in our iris. So let's once again go to our image size screen, which you can also access by hitting Control, Alt, and I. And let's once again change resolution to 300 rather. And I'm going to change my shortest side to 3000 and let's increase. So now let's have a look at our iris again. And we can see that we can zoom in almost infinitely without any perceived loss of clarity. There's no jagged pixelation happening. And once again, this image could be printed right now and still maintain a very, very high resolution. It's just that easy. Like I said, AI is built into Photoshop, so why not make use of it? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to my channel because that's going to encourage me to make more videos just for you. And with that, I'll see you the next time.